Hi guys! So I'm just about to do my workout for today and I'm having my pre-workout coffee as always and I'm gonna have a little coffee talk with you and today I wanted to give you a little update on my diet because if you've been following you know uh, that I became a vegetarian about three months ago already so I wanted to uh, share with you my experiences with it and the changes that uh, uh, have been occurring over the course of the three months so some of the changes were positive and some of them were unfortunately negative so I'm gonna start with the positive ones first uh, you know when I started with this vegetarian diet with this lifestyle I noticed an almost immediate shift in energy I cannot really describe it and but I, it was something I really enjoyed it I felt light and I almost felt like I had more energy not that I didn't have enough energy before I had a lot of energy always but it was just kind of different and I really liked it so I kept going with this and um, you know I've been really uh, enjoying the entire lifestyle and there are many other reasons why I like to be vegetarian it's not just about uh, fitness related but that's another thing um, however lately I've been experiencing some negative um, results of this diet I, I would say and one of them is that I am noticing that it's really it's much harder for me to keep my lean muscles and I'm working out really hard as I always used to and I just I can, I'm noticing that I'm, I'm slowly my muscles are slowly fading out and I'm not happy about that because I'm the kind of person who likes to have muscles I, I used to be a lot more muscular before and I like that because you know when you have muscles muscles are basically a fat burning engine engine on your body when you have muscles it's much easier to burn fat off of your body so you look a lot leaner and so I would like to get my muscles back but you know I don't want to go back to eating meat for many different reasons so right now I have a dilemma and I'm starting to think about supplementation which is something that I've been always avoiding because I always believed that you can get all of the nutrients uh, that you need from the food that you're eating but that was when I was eating meat so now you know I'm, I'm really starting to think that I probably I will need some kind of protein supplement and uh, right now I'm also studying uh, for another certification with ISSA I already have um, personal trainer certification that I did with them and uh, I noticed their uh, pro supplement um, approach. They're really pro supplement, and they really believe that athletes and people who work out a lot should be um, using supplements. So uh, I'm reading through that right now, and uh, I would also appreciate if you guys could give me any advice, any tips from your own experiences with protein supplements. Because I want to find out, I don't want to rush this, I want to find the best what's out there. Because I'm doing this for my body, I really like my body and I want the best for myself. So I want the best protein supplements that's out there. I know that not all of the proteins were created equally. So um, I want to be careful with that. Let's say it like this. So um, if you can give me any tips and any advice, I will really appreciate it. And I will keep you updated if I find something that's really good and I believe that, um, you know, it's really good for me, I will share it with you. And that's all. That's all I wanted to talk to you in today's coffee talk. I'm just gonna finish my huge pre-workout coffee and uh, I'm gonna show you my workout for today.
So the second exercise is reverse push-up. This one is gonna be hard. really hard and lost a lot of strength. So this was my workout for today. I did 16 minutes of uh, interval strength training. It was really challenging, especially for my upper body because those reverse push-ups and the dive bombers, they really killed my arms completely. I have no strength left. And uh, so I had a good workout. You guys can try it too at home. I have the whole workout explained on my blog, TV. There's a step-by-step -step guide. And I have also instructional video for this workout where I go over each exercise, I explain the proper form and uh, I gave you uh, tips for beginners and modifications so that really anyone can try this workout at home even if you're a beginner and even uh, if these exercises seem to be really challenging, there's always a way how to do them uh, um, with an easier variation. So, uh, check my site, it's all there for you and I will see you guys in our next workout. So check out the workout schedule for this week and see you then. Um. Oh.